Hello everybody, I am Mars Capone and this is Minecraft. Welcome back. Here we are again. I didn't play a lot between episodes. I did play a lot of other games though. <laughs> but uh, let me show you a little progress. Um, did a little bit here. I'm working on this building. I think it's coming along nicely. I really like this idea. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it upstairs, but I really like the idea of having a waterfall and some water. I've included some water in builds in other buildings, especially that one, the farthest away one you can see. And I kind of forgot about it, but I think it's cool to do it more often. Because water is cool. <laughs> And I already built this thing, and I decided to copy it on this side. Might be interesting. And there's a road coming off this roundabout now, towards here. Although I think I'm, the building's gonna stop here. And then this walkway... I don't know. But I put that walkway. May lead to some places. This is a pedestal for... Um, a statue, probably. Um, did a little bit of work on this building. I put up this wall and I, I still think it looks good. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I really like the depth this has. And I also did some work on the other side of this building. And this building too. I made this tower bigger. I think it looks quite impressive. I have some holes here where I'm not quite sure how to fix that. Well, it'll get fixed as soon as I build it up higher. Um, so I have to copy this to that one. I think that'll make it all come together nicely. Um, started working on this tower on the side here. I guess it needs another ring like this, at least over here. And then I might adjust this size, because that looks kind of weird right now. And um, yeah, um, over here is an interesting something I'm working on. Um, so this is all gonna be open, and I wanted to make a little outcrop. I don't know how to say it best here. Um, let's look at it from some different angles, because this building is quite small. It looks really big from the outside, but the inside is oops. The inside's quite small, and I want a lot of stuff inside here. So I was thinking of ways to expand the size of the rooms. So this is what it would normally be. But uh, what, what are you guys doing here? With this... Oh yeah, I guess I want a wall here. Probably. I don't know. Um. With this here, there's nine square meters more, well, uh, twelve <laughs> square meters more space, and same goes for here. Although I'm debating, let me show you from this side to make it even more bigger, more bigger, bigger. So this is what it looks like now. My first idea was to have this one here and then this one here. So two separate cubicles. I don't know the right word. Outcrops. But it doesn't line up with this now. Because this is even and this is odd. Right? So I don't know how much I like that. So what I might do is have this connect to here and just make it even bigger, so not two separate outcrops, but one one big one. So then this will go away as well, because then we also win this space. And then it's going to be quite a bit bigger. 
So I think I'll do that. Oh yeah, and also... I've been... doing this. <laughs> also... Look at this. I put a floor in here. Just to see what kind of... space we had available available here, and I think it's pretty good. Um, this is gonna be the lecture lecture hall. Yeah. But I need an entrance here. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it yet. And over here is what's gonna be the observatory. And I think I wanna work a little on that today. So the most important decision what way to face it? So the most obvious options are every direction but that one, because that one faces nowhere. So you won't be able to see it from here. Hmm. On this side, we don't have a lot of buildings. And on this side, it almost feels awkward that the astronomists are looking this way, peeking in on us. <laughs> and then, so, I guess east? No, uh, west, west. <laughs> so you can watch the sunset there too. Right? Does that make any sense? And then the second most important question is what material are we gonna make it of? Out of? I think I'm gonna go with dark oak. Because I think dark oak will stand out nicely and give it a lot of character. And I kind of like the observatory in GTA Online. <laughs> in GTA, which is based on um, the one in LA. Which is also kind of dark. Uh, so it should be something like this. Or which way? This way. And another important question is, what material are we going to make the doors out of? Alright, I made everything but the doors now, so I have to choose. I think I'm going to go with stone, or actually stone bricks. Because I don't need silk touch to pick those back up. And then I can always um, replace it if I don't like it. Is this... This is not correct. Oh, it needs to go that way. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm stuck here now. Let's see. Um, One out, like this, and then three. So it should end up, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use something different than stone bricks, I think. Definitely, I think. Welcome to building with Mars Capone. Making up his mind as he goes. Halfway through the sentences. The next layer is almost exactly the same. This goes one further. This one isn't connected anymore. So I always have a hard time deciding what I should do off camera and on camera. Personally, I like <laughs> I like let's play that have let's plays that have a good balance. And I don't know if I have a good balance. I feel like I may do too much off camera. And whenever I do something on camera like building this for example. Um well I have a hard time talking and building at the same time. I think a lot of you YouTubers have that, but you probably get better at it the more you do it. But I often just don't do it, I just <laughs> give you a, an update, just show stuff that I have built off camera. And, um, oh, do I have more? I need more. I hope I have, I have quite a bit. Okay. Don't fall. Got it. Um, so yeah, of course this is more boring than getting um, 
a status update, because then you see new stuff. Although the problem with with progress updates, status updates, progress, is that... Oh, now I have to think here. <laughs> Two. But yeah, the problem with progress updates, 234, is that if you haven't seen the previous episode, it's not a progress update, it's just showing off little random stuff. So I don't know how interesting that is. I'm trying to be better at it, trying to do more on camera, or at least uh, show you a little bit of what it was, and then um, show you more of what it's gonna be. Talk about what it's gonna be. And show you what's happening here. Oh, it needs to be four. And then two, two. And since this is such a big building, such an eye catcher, I hope, <laughs> um, I decided I want to do more of this on camera. And I hope that'll be cool. Give us a nice um, actual progress update. Okay, like this. And this just keeps on being the same. I think we're cool. Next layer. I don't know why, but I find this really relaxing. <laughs> Building circles in Minecraft. This goes all the way across. And then over here, it doesn't go all the way across. It um, goes like this. Two, three, four. And I did forget uh, something here. But it's taken shape already. I like it. And as you can see, we can watch a sunset right through this gate. That's going to be pretty cool, I hope. Let's see, this one goes up, this one goes in, and two, two. So as I've said before, this design is available on plots.co.uk, plots with a Z. <laughs> they have a lot of, um, three, two, yeah. a lot of circles for Minecraft. Um, and also some other buildings, like the lighthouse, actually. Can you see that from here? No. <laughs> it's also designed from plots.co.uk that I slightly adjusted. And if you take their designs and just slightly make them your own, they look pretty cool. So, you guys like stuff? <laughs> so, like I said, I've been playing a lot of um, other games, too. Okay. Uh, mostly Factorio, together with Cresconio. He was also on my multiplayer server way back. Um, we're playing C-Block Factorio together. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, We've put a lot of hours in it. It's really difficult. But uh, we're really enjoying it. And once we're done, I may show you what it ended up like. Oh, we're, it's time for another layer. Oh, this one comes comes in, right? Oh no! Come back. I've also gotten back into Monster Hunter World. I don't know why. <laughs> but I've uploaded the video. I haven't uploaded it yet, so I hope I've uploaded it by the time this one gets uploaded. And I had a lot of, a lot of fun making that video. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five. With two spare. One, two, three, four, five, two spare. It's fantastic. So yeah, any other games? Bit of GTA Online. It's been a while actually since I played. And yeah, lots of work, real life stuff. Making things a little slower. Although by this time, you, I guess you're used to it. So a while back, almost a year ago, when I didn't have a job, I streamed a lot of uh, Kingdom Hearts. But I ended up missing... Oh, this is not right. 
Um, so the kingdom, the old kingdom hearts games are. Oh, <laughs> are on the PlayStation Four in two bundles, and the first and the second one together with some extra games, and the the second and a half, second dot eight to be exact. Yes, it's that fake. It's a weird game. <laughs> uh, it's a weird game series. Is this yeah, this is correct. Um, I need more woods. This is my last stack of logs. Wonder how far we'll get with this. So let's make it into planks first. So I haven't played that second collection of games, and Kingdom Hearts Three is coming out soon. So I might have to hurry up and start playing it. Also, one of my favorite streamers, Milby, he's doing a full run of all the games because he's. He has played. Oh, how does this work? Oh yeah, this is right. And then... I don't know if I want this to be stowed, but we'll see. He's doing all the games, and he... So, he might catch up on the game I haven't played. So I need to make haste with that. But it's been ages since I streamed. And I don't really have time for it. <laughs> Especially with all the Factorio we've been doing. So, yeah, we'll see. And slowly but surely we're getting closer to the top. And I'm out of planks. Do I want to show you a, a sneak preview of how far we've gotten yet? Hmm. Yeah, why not, why not? Oh, that looks pretty awesome. I'm happy. Quickly, let's quickly, quickly finish it. Let's do it. Oh, I'm stuck here. Oh, let me out. Now we're getting close. Now we're getting really close. I can't place blocks. And then this is the final layer. I didn't quite expect that. And it's only... This. And the last stone. Nice. So do I want to look at it from the inside? I did see a creeper earlier. There he is, there he is, I see him. He's coming right for me. I don't have any arrows. Great. Absolutely lovely. Can we kick him off? <laughs> don't! Oh, I've worked so hard on this. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of scary. There's a spider. Yeah, this is all very dark now. Well, not entirely. That's pretty cool about this. And it does look quite impressive, if I do say so myself. The size of this thing. Also, I kind of do want a dark, I guess, since it's an observatory. And if, one, if you want to look at stars, it needs to be dark. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Still lots to do, of course. Let's... yeah. We might want to fill in this empty space. Let's have a look from a distance. Look at that! I'm quite pleased. I think I might end up um, changing the material that this is made out of. But for now... Well, it gives you a good idea of what's, what's it gonna look like. So let's see what it looks like from the view we see most often, which is walking out of the... Oh yeah! Walking out of the storage room. That really grabs your attention. I like that a lot. I like that. And I, I think I like the way it's facing. It could be facing this way. But I... Honestly, I just like looking at the setting sun. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> How often can I say that? Yeah, yeah. It definitely stands out. And of course I'm gonna decorate at least the walls, the stone walls, but maybe also the roof itself, the dome itself. Not quite sure. Look at this, with maximum render distance you can actually see 
almost the whole base. That's neat. <laughs> I like it. I said it again. So yeah, I think we could use some more towers on this side. Which there will be. Maybe even here. I don't know if I want this to be the biggest building. Well, technically it would be the best for th watching the stars. Because there would be less light pollution. And with a little bit less render distance, it kind of fogs up and... It's all vague in the distance, which also is pretty cool. And the light... the sky is changing color because of the desert. Oh my god. I guess it does look less sturdy now, but we um, need to give it some supports and a, a, a bottom floor <laughs> would probably be nice. So yeah, then it will be very dark underneath there. Yeah, floor in here, decorate the walls and of course the inside. It's far from finished and I, I'm not gonna prioritize this, but I just wanted to have the roof on, see what it looks like. Also, to give more context to the rest of my buildings, so I can get a better idea of what I want them to look like and how high they need to go. Because I think if this building goes up all the way to there, this will look more sturdy, maybe. I hope. But yeah. Plenty to do. So I'm gonna go jump right in it. Alright, so I did some work. I extended these. I think it looks pretty good from here. Let's go up here. So it's all connected now. Yeah, I like it. I might put some half slabs on the bottom here. To make it look even more sturdy, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's look at it from up here. So it's quite a bit of added space, I think. And yeah, I could take it all the way up, but I I kind of like that it's protruding like it is now. Hey, seems like we have a visitor over here, and I still don't have any arrows. Don't look at me. Um, I copied this tower design to there. I think that's gonna look pretty good. Let's go here. Yeah, I like this. And then there's gonna be a wall up here, and this is gonna be a big building. Oh yeah, and I found this underground lake. And we can connect it to here if you like. I might do that. Here it is. Underground lake. Another thing I did is I copied this wall to over here. I just noticed this one is one longer. On which side is it longer? On this side? Yeah, but I don't, I don't think I mind, because there's going to be a tower here. And it might have a staircase in it, so it doesn't matter too much. The only problem is, I had to rebuild it twice. Because <laughs> um, it used to come up right here. So... That's why this side was longer than that side. I fixed that, and then I noticed um, this hallway is symmetrical with this hallway. They're both three wide, but then I noticed these pillars are one out. And over here... Hi, we have another visitor. <laughs> over here they're not one out. So, I just extended this, and I haven't looked at it from afar. So I may make this walkway wider, or... I don't know, let's have a look how it looks. Oh, wanted to pick up that dirt, but unfortunately. Let's have a look. It doesn't look too bad, it's a bit top-heavy. Also kind of depends on what, what kind of wall there's going to be on this side. We might make it sour here after all. We'll see. And also I kind of want to get a foundation for this tower going, so it's not floating in nothingness. 
And something else I did. Ooh. Let's use our last firework. And look at the observatory. I tried out different door designs. And the light one is spruce woods and the dark one is spruce bark. I think the spruce bark is too similar to um, the dark oak wood. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Unfortunately, can we get up there even? I don't think we can. So yeah, you can see it from here. Uh, the dark is very similar to this, so I don't know how much I like that. I might as well use the planks then, since it's cheaper. <laughs> um, I might strip the the bark and see how that looks. Although the planks don't look too bad. It seems kind of weird now. With the other one being dark. Maybe I like dark better for consistency. I don't know. But yeah, things are coming along nicely. I need... I'm gonna do a lot of work of camera, hopefully. <laughs> I can do a lot of work of camera if I want, because uh, there's a lot of buildings half done, or even less. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.